जय हिंद टू एवरी वन इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट और प्री रिक्वेसाइट फॉर माइक्रोवेव एंड आर आर इंजीनियरिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वॉट इज स्केलर वॉट इज वैक्टर वॉट इज डॉट प्रोडक्ट वॉट इज क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट वॉट इज यूनिट वैक्टर एंड हाउ विल यू use the cartesian the different coordinate system that is cartesian coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system and uh, spherical coordinate system so what is a scalar a scalar is a quantity that has only magnitude example may be the time mass distance temperature and uh, population of a scalars the is uh, scalar quantity can be represented as a uh, simple a oblique b a comma b <coughs> vector is a quantity that has only magnitude that has a magnitude as well as direction example is a velocity force displacement displacement and electrical electrical intensity so it can be represented as uh, we can represent this uh, vector quantity in bold or we can represent this uh, <coughs> vector quantity as arrow in capital letters it can be it can be written as vector a is equal to a into unit vector and uh, magnitude of a uh, vector a is written as mod of a and mod of a is the magnitude and a cap is the unit vector so if i am writing this vector a like this it means this is the magnitude this is the unit vector for finding the magnitude we can use the formula suppose the vector a is written as a is equal to ax ax ay ay plus az az then mod of a is nothing but under root ax square plus ay square plus az square so this is the magnitude of the vector what is unit vector a unit vector is a vector along a vector a, a unit vector along vector a is defined as a vector whose magnitude and its direction is along a magnitude of unit vector is unity or we can find the unit vector of the magnitude as i have written the formula here vector a is equal to a into unit vector so we can find the unit vector a cap is equal to vector a upon mod of a what is the dot product dot product and cross product of uh, two vectors can be find if vector a is uh, defined as ax ay az and vector b is defined as bx by bz then dot product of these two vectors a dot b is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus a b az bz this can be obtained by simply multiplying component of vector a and b respectively so <coughs> we can write the dot product uh, as a uh, if i define the dot product of two vectors then a dot b is nothing but mod of a mod of b cos theta what is a vector product vector product is also known as a cross product the cross product of two vectors a and b can be written as uh, a cross b is equal to mod of a mod of b sin theta ab where n cap where n cap is a unit vector perpendicular to the direction of <coughs> or perpendicular to the plane that contains two vectors the direction of n is taken as the direction of the right hand thumb rule i am going to discuss this right hand thumb rule what is the right hand thumb rule the product of cross product is always a vector but the 
डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स इज ऑलवेज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी वी कैन फाइंड द डॉट क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट बाय यूजिंग दिस मैट्रिक्स सो वेक्टर ए एंड बी आर डिफाइंड एज ए एक्स ए वाई कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेक्टर ए इज ए एक्स ए वाई ए जेड एंड कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेक्टर बी इज बी एक्स बी वाई बी जेड देन ए क्रॉस बी इज दिस एंड वी कैन इजली फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट वॉट इज द राइट हैंड थम रूल एंड राइट हैंड स्क्रिव लॉ सो वी हैव टू सी वी हैव टू सी द एंगल बिटवीन वैक्टर ए एंड वैक्टर बी so vector the angle is moving vector a uh, the angle between vector a and vector b is anti clockwise direction in anti clockwise direction it means the fingers will rotate in and the fingers will rotate in anti clockwise direction and the thumb and the cross product of this uh, the uh, cross product of these two vectors a and b so the direction of the cross product will be in upward direction because this uh, angle is moving in anti clockwise direction if this is moving in uh, clockwise direction then the cross product will be downwards downward to the down in the downward direction similarly in a screw law we can see that if the vector a and b a is moving between uh, the vector a the angle between vector a and b is theta ab and theta is moving uh, theta is uh, in the <coughs> theta is in the direction of clock uh, in the in the the clockwise uh, in the anti clockwise direction so if this is anti clockwise direction then the direction of the cross product will be in upward direction now the orthogonal coordinate systems in this cross product we can see that if i am multiplying <coughs> ax cross ax if i am finding the cross product of same <coughs> unit vector then it will be 1 if this is different ax cross ay sorry this will be zero ax ay az ax cross ay will give the information about ax cross ay is nothing but az ay cross az is nothing but ax and ay az cross ax is nothing but ay so in this way we can see that if i am taking the cross product of two perpendicular vectors or you can say that if uh, i write unit vectors in clockwise direction <coughs> then the cross product of x and y will give z y and z will give x and z and x will give y so in this way we can find the cross cross product of same unit vector will be zero because angle between these two vectors will be zero and sin zero is nothing but zero similarly we can find we can see in the case of dot product if i multiply the same unit vector with the same it means angle between these two vectors will be zero and here we can write a dot b is mod of a mod of b cos theta so if the angle cos theta is zero cos zero is 1 i will get here mod of a mod of b so ax dot ax will be 1 because the magnitude of these two unit vectors will be 1 and cos theta cos 0 is equal to 1 similarly for same ay dot ay and az dot az is equal to 1 now if i take 
perpendicular to each other means a x dot a y, a y dot a z and a z dot a x. In that case, they are perpendicular to each other and the angle between these two unit vectors will be 90 degree and cos 90 is 0. Therefore, these the dot product of these vectors will always be 0. So, if the two vectors are perpendicular to each other, then their dot product is 0 and if two vectors that are the, they are parallel to each other, it means that cross uh, sorry, their dot product will be 0 and their dot product will be 1 if they are parallel to each other or if they are making the angle 0. So, now coming to this orthogonal coordinate system, basically there are three type of coordinate system rectangular coordinate system, cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system. I am not going to, I am go, not go, going to, going to detail these three coordinate system, but I am going to only discuss, I am going to brief only these coordinate system. So, in rectangular coordinate system, <coughs> basically x, y, z is the coordinate. So, if I consider a point in this x, y, z plane, point P is defined as x, y, z. So, <coughs> how will I define this point in Cartesian coordinate system? So, I can write here vector A is equal to A x, A x plus A y, A y plus A z, A z. This is simple x, y, z, x, y, z gives the information that the this point is located in x uh, with distance at distance x from the x direction at distance y from the y axis and at distance z from the z axis. So, what is the range of these variables? This x, y and z coordinates can vary from minus infinite to plus infinite or you can say from minus infinite from uh, minus infinite to plus infinite. And, uh, we can write, we can find the differential elements as well as differential surface and differential area. Similarly, in cylindrical coordinate system, the coordinates are rho phi and z. How will I form these coordinates? So, for that I have to take a plane which is making an angle phi with x axis. And if I rotate this plane, this, the plane that is lying on the y z uh, in the y z x uh, y z plane, the plane which is lying on the y z plane and uh, making an angle phi with x axis. So, if I rotate that plane in any direction, whether it may be in clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction, so I can see here that I am rotating the angle phi is uh, uh, the angle phi is increasing in the direction of in clock in uh, anti clockwise direction. So, I am rotating that plane in anti clockwise direction and this plane will form this plane will form a cylinder. This point P the point P is located or is located at distance rho with z axis. This is also rho, this is also rho. <coughs> so, this direction a rho, what will be the direction of a rho, a phi and a z? The, uh, we will always choose the direction of a rho, a phi and a z in increasing direction. So, rho is increasing in this direction phi is increasing in anti clockwise direction. So, I have chosen this a phi and z is increasing in plus z direction. So, I have chosen the a z in this direction. <coughs> so, what will be the limit of this these variables rho phi and z? So, rho will vary from 0 to infinite. Similarly, z will vary from 0 to from in minus infinite to plus infinite and <coughs> what about phi? Phi will vary from 0 to 2 pi because for making a cylinder for forming a cylinder, we have to rotate that plane 
with angle phi and that phi will vary from 0 to 2 pi. If this will not vary from 0 to 2 pi, then this plane will unable to form a cylinder of radius rho. So, this is the way how we can represent the cylindrical coordinate system. As I have told you that if I am taking the dot product of the same unit vector, then this will give the uh, dot product will be unity. If I am taking a dot product of different unit vectors, then this will give 0. Similarly, for finding the cross product of two vectors, suppose a rho, a phi and a z, rho phi z, a rho cross a phi, what will give? a rho cross a phi will be a z, a phi cross a z will be a rho, a z cross a rho will be a phi. So, this is the <coughs> cross product and dot product of unit vectors of cylindrical coordinate system. Now, you can see here, how can you find or how can you correlate and uh, the Cartesian coordinate system and cylindrical coordinate system. So, it is clear that I have considered here that the point P is located here, point P is P rho phi z and similarly in the co uh, Cartesian coordinate system, I have chosen this P x y z. So, <coughs> z is same, only what I have done, I have taken, I have chosen this point at distance rho with the from z axis. So, this is rho and this plane is making angle phi with x axis. So, what will be the value of this and this or you can say the magnitude of x and magnitude of y. So, if this is making angle phi, so what will be the, this will be the base and this will be equal to x is equal to rho cos phi and y is equal to rho sin, rho sin phi, rho sin phi. So, it is clear and z is equal to z. So, I can find, I can write uh, cylindrical coordinate system vector a is equal to a rho a rho plus a phi a phi plus a z a z and what will be the magnitude? Magnitude mod a is equal to under root a rho square plus a phi square plus a z square. Now, <coughs> this has been already discussed that uh, x is equal to rho cos phi y is equal to rho sin phi and z is equal to z from this figure. Now, what will be the value of rho and phi in terms of x? So, this is the relation. If I square these two equations, x square is equal to rho square cos square phi and y square is equal to rho square sin square phi, then rho square is nothing but rho square is nothing but x square plus y square. This is nothing but rho is equal to under root x square plus y square. So, phi is nothing but tan inverse y by x. Now, coming to the spherical coordinate system, the coordinates, <coughs> the, uh, the coordinates are a r, a theta and a phi in case of a spherical coordinate system and we are considering here the point r theta and phi. So, it is clear from this figure that for forming a sphere, what I have to do? I have to consider a point here that is making, first of all you have to remember I am finding here, I am forming here a sphere, not a complete sphere, this is a hemisphere. For forming a hemisphere, I have to move this point P from this y axis to 180 degree because we want to make a hemisphere for forming a hemisphere we are making we are by varying this angle theta, we can make a semicircle. But in this 3D in three dimension, I have to create a circle at the bottom of this sphere. 
So, I have taken only one point. If I take a locus of all these p points, then I can create the hemisphere in this coordinate. So, theta will vary from 0 to pi for making a circle and for making a complete circle, I have to vary this phi from 0 to 2, 0 to 2 pi. So, by varying this phi from 0 to 2 pi and by varying this theta from 0 to pi, I can create a hemisphere and from here, I can decide the range of these variables. So, what will, uh, the radius r will vary? This is the point where uh, which is uh, located at distance r from the origin. So, this r <coughs> is varying from 0 to infinite and theta is varying from 0 to pi and phi is varying from 0 to 2 pi. In this way, we can create a sphere. So, what will be the direction of this a r, a theta and a phi? I have already told in this uh, cylindrical coordinate system that I have to choose the uh, unit vector in increasing direction. So, increasing direction of r is this. So, I have chosen in this direction a r. The theta is varying in this direction. So, theta is increasing in this direction and phi is increasing in this direction. So, I have chosen this phi as this. <coughs> so, in this way, we can create a spherical coordinate system. Now, as I have told you that uh, unit vectors are a r, a theta and a phi. Already told the limits range of variables, range, uh, range of variables. So, if I take the dot product and cross product of these unit vectors, then what will happen? already told you that uh, if I am taking the dot product of same vectors, then they will same unit vector, then they will give the unit, uh, the, the, the unit quantity. And uh, if I take the dot product of different uh, unit, uh, dot product of different unit vectors, then it will become 0. So, a r dot a r a theta plus a, a theta dot a theta a phi dot a phi is equal to 1 a r dot a theta, a theta dot a phi, a phi dot a r is equal to 0. Similarly, cross for cross product, I have, I have to choose a r, a theta, a phi. a r cross a theta will give a phi, a theta cross a phi will give a r, a phi cross a r will give a theta. So, this is the spherical coordinate system. Now, how will you correlate this spherical coordinate system with <coughs> cylindrical coordinate system and Cartesian coordinate system? As I have chosen this point p x y z in Cartesian coordinate system, same point has been chosen in this uh, spherical coordinate system and same point has chosen in cylindrical coordinate system. So, if these points are same, this is not rho. What is rho? Rho is the radius of this. This is rho. This value and this value is not equal. So, what I have to do? I have to find, I have to draw the perpendicular or I can find <coughs> the value of this x coordinate, this x and this y. So, this is the rho, radius of the cylinder and this is the radius of the circle or radius of the sphere. So, this is nothing but, I can see here, this is, a, this is z is equal to r cos theta and this is, uh, y is equal to this, I am not writing here y, I am writing here uh, value directly. So, this is nothing but r sin theta and the value of r, what will be the value of r? Value of r will be rho sin phi. Similarly, <coughs> this is r cos theta and what will be the value of if i write if I, I want to write so i can write here r is nothing but rho sin phi 
Similarly, if I find here x is equal to this is angle phi, this is rho. So, this value will be rho cos phi and this value will be rho sin phi. And this z is equal to z is equal to this. I am writing here z is this, z is equal to r cos theta. This value is r sin theta. So, what will be the relation? x is equal to x is equal to x is equal to rho cos phi y is equal to rho sin phi i have a find here that uh, this is equal to x is equal to r sin theta this x is nothing but rho i can write here <coughs> rho is equal to this is not x this is this value is rho so this is rho rho is equal to r sin theta so i am writing here r sin theta cos phi and this is r sin theta sin phi you can see here x is equal to rho cos phi rho is equal to r sin theta and rho is equal to y is equal to rho sin phi and y is equal to r sin theta z is equal to r cos theta as it is clear from this figure. So, now I can find the relation between these two. If I find the relation, then I can see here, if I, uh, if I find, if I square x square plus y square plus z square will give r square and r is equal to under root x square plus y square plus z square. What will be the value of theta? Theta can be find theta is equal to theta is equal to uh, I can find here tan inverse if I write here I will get here uh, sin square theta is uh, or I can find here tan phi is equal to tan inverse y by x for finding this theta I can add these two equations or <coughs> phi or uh, theta will be equal to r cos theta. So, uh, z is equal to r cos theta. So, what will be the value of cos theta? Cos theta is nothing but z by r. r is nothing but x square plus y square z square. So, it means cos theta is equal to z upon cos x square plus y square plus z square. It means z, z is base base upon this plus this so i i am interested here to find the value in terms of theta so tan theta will be equal to under root x square plus y square upon under root x square plus y square plus z square so this is uh, tan theta will be equal to x square under root x square plus sorry x square plus y square by this base tan theta is equal to under root x square plus y square divided by z. So, theta will be equal to tan inverse under root x square plus y square plus divided by z. So, this is the method how can you correlate the Cartesian coordinate system to the cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system. So, this is all about for today. In the next lecture, I will discuss the uh, discuss the transmission line in the transmission line theory with its applications. Thank you.